friends. Hello. So welcome to our little um, upstate weekend girls getaway trip. Um, obviously, mom came up from Texas. Um, she's fully vaccinated. She'll be there halfway there. So we thought we'd do a little spring road trip upstate. Um, if you guys remember, uh, Shelby and Alex and I went to Tivoli last summer. When we were uh, there, we kind of went to a bunch of the little towns around here, um, including Hudson, New York, which is where we are right now. Um, we drove up from the city this morning and um, just made it to Hudson. We packed a little picnic lunch, so we're gonna eat really quick and then we are gonna start walking around Hudson. We're staying in an Airbnb nearby. Um, the next few days we're just gonna kind of like pop around to a bunch of the fun little towns around here. So, Except it's supposed to snow. Yeah, um, yeah. today's beautiful. Sunny, as you can see, warm, it's like 70 degrees. Um, <laughs> but in about 24, 48 hours, it might be snowing. So <laughs> none of us pack for snow. It's like a freak little like late spring, April snowstorm situation. So we'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> but we're gonna enjoy the sunny weather today. stopped at the store for groceries and we just arrived to our little Airbnb and it's so cute. Um, I think this store has the code. Super cute. Oh, look at that little hammocky thing. Oh, wow. Oh, super cute. Oh, this is so cute. There's a make Oh. Uh. Back porch. Whoa, like full on back porch. Even than the photos. Yeah. This is super cute. <laughs> so cute. Fireplace for when it snows. <laughs> Here you go. Here's one bedroom. I think this is the full size bed. Oh, look. Well, snacks, water, and masks. How fun. Look, it has a sewing machine. And picture of old people. This is perfect for you. It's my room. <laughs> so cute. Okay, let's see. The rest of the upstairs. Secret history of witches. Oh. Super cute. Is this the queen? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It looks bigger. I think. Cute. I love the little water bottle sanitizer wipe mask touch. That's cute. There is no substitute for hard work. Accurate. And then, cute. Bathroom. Cool. 
shower. No tub, just a shower. That's fine though. This is decorated really cute. They look And for today's entertainment, watch Shelby get into a hammock I don't, I with a glass of wine. I lay you with the glass of wine. No, mm. you cannot. So I gotta sit like this until I drink okay. my wine. We unpacked a little bit. I mean, not really. We like unpacked our groceries um, and just decided to come outside and have a glass of wine um, before the sun sets because I think the next. Mm, 24 to 48 hours are going to be very rainy so this might be our only opportunity to enjoy the cute little backyard area the house is so cute this is like a whole like screened in porch which would be really fun um if it was better weather then a whole little fire pit area back here with a hammock which is nice and you're you know back in the in the woods in nature I am now in the hammock. Oh. Um, Shelby and I almost fell. I scraped my finger. I have a band-aid on it. <laughs> Not almost fell. I fell. I was trying to take a photo. I posted it on my Instagram. And I was like, Shelby, can I borrow your glass of wine for a second? Because I was like, trying to take it of my feet, like in the hammock, like all cute and artsy, like holding the glass of wine. And <laughs> she stood up to hand me the wine. She fell out of her chair. No, I didn't stand up all the way. I was just trying to lean over is what work. tried to happen. Yes, I know it didn't work. Thank you. <laughs> and as I was reaching for it, like the hammock tipped. <laughs> so I didn't come down you all out. What is she trying to tip me? Little brat. Well, don't get a little sister. Don't get big sister. Little sister. <laughs> Anyways, I'm like literally gripping the hammock trying to not fall and Shelby's like on the ground here. Kind the wine didn't the spill. Wine. The, the wine, wine didn't did spill. spill. We saved the wine. <laughs> Mom had to come and like tip the hammock. So <laughs> pick up Shelby's chair Shelby that was sideways. <laughs> I'm sad we didn't get it on video, but. You'd probably still be in that position. Probably. Good thing you, yeah. Mom says good thing she was here or we'd still be in that position. Accurate. So sorry we didn't get that on video, but it was funny. I'm getting kind of chilly. Well, you have a jacket on. I have short sleeves on. I have this, but I'm not used to. To me, this is still a little chilly. Oh, no. This smells nice. Oh, there's going to snow not. on Friday. And I'm not excited about that. Snow. I forgot a coat. <laughs> she out. She had to bring a coat. Because it... Mm -mm. It's not the time we've been snow. but we've been talking about how it's gonna snow no we were talking about it since yesterday morning that's it and i forgot because i'm not used to wearing a coat because i haven't worn a coat well, in you are an adult so i'm <laughs> not in charge of i feel like we wore a coat like last week it hasn't been that long not me it's not like it's summer There's something, there's a bug on me. There's a legit spider on me in the car. It freaked me out. Oh, I thought you were saying there's a spider on me. Oh, no, on me in the car. <laughs> freaked out in the mom. It's almost out. rolled out of the hammock again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you glad you came with us? Oh, so glad. <laughs> I'm picking you up off the hammocks on the ground and I'm going to get snowed on that I did not pack for. So. See. Although today was lovely, prior to today was lovely prior right. to the hammock what? falling. Yes, yes, I'm just <laughs> so today is 
lovely. I'm hoping that the weather forecast is We've all had some alcohol and haven't eaten in a very long time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel like we need some food. I need some chips or something. I don't want chips. We're having pizza for dinner. I don't like this pre-dinner before dinner. You were, excuse me, we were in the Airbnb for, I'm not even kidding you, four minutes, and you had the animal crackers and peanut butter out. Okay, that was for a reason. Uh -huh. It was for a important reason. I a understand. national holiday that is today. But you were still doing it. <laughs> and you're yelling at me about wanting a I snack. I had three animal crackers with peanut butter. That's a snack. That's not a snack in my book. That's just like a bite. It's a snack. That is the definition of a snack. We have to have them today. I understand. You don't want to go fetch me some chips? Do I want to fetch you some chips? I can't get out of this Absolutely hammock. Not. <laughs> Absolutely not. party frozen pizzas for the win it's the three of us and our bear friend in this <laughs> chair <laughs> we need to name him fred that's boring it's the first thing that came to mind um Upstate New Yorkish. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> um, Hudson. Yeah, Hudson. Hudson. Hudson the bear. <laughs> Good morning. Hope you guys enjoyed that um, clip of me trying to figure out how to make coffee and a regular coffee maker because I never do that. So that was entertaining for you, I'm sure. How you doing? I'm tired. I did not sleep well. Yeah. None of us sleep great when we're not in well, our own bed. Well, you slept good? <laughs> oh, well. Good for you. Actually, no, I did not. I never sleep well, not in my own bed with my own pillows. Yeah, the pillow situation wasn't a fan of. You took up like the entire bed. So did you. No, uh uh. Your arms. No. Your arms. I was in like this amount of space because you. Well, this couch pulled out. <laughs> That's wonderful for you. Why don't you come try it? <laughs> okay, let's try my attempt at coffee. Have you tried it? Mm -mm. It's fine. Pop up. I ground the beans. Congratulations for you. <laughs> you did okay? I did okay? I think you did okay. Excellent. So mom doesn't make the coffee either. Dad always makes no, it. No, we had to so call him. We had to call him last night and ask him how to use it. <laughs> I call, well, I had to call for the coffee measurements. <laughs> we had no idea how much coffee to put in to make a pot. With three people who drink a lot of coffee, you would think we would know how to use a coffee maker. Not that one. Um, so it's actually not raining right now, which is a bit of a plot twist. So as of now, and it keeps changing, it's not supposed to rain more until this afternoon. So this morning we're going to sit and enjoy our coffee, but then get out and head, um, out a little bit earlier today than I think we were anticipating to hopefully avoid the rain. So, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Riveting. <laughs> I'm sorry. When do you ever film anything? I don't. Exactly. <laughs> so if I, if you were in charge of filming vlog content, you guys would get a big flat nothing.
we packed up a lunch. We're about to uh, jump in the car and head to, we're gonna go to Kingston, New York first, um, go to a coffee shop, walk around, hopefully the rain holds off, and then we're gonna head to Woodstock. Um, which Shelby and I have driven through quickly before, but we've never stopped. And when we drove through last time, it was a cute little town with like lots of stuff um, to pop into. So those are the areas we're gonna explore today. I'm excited, let's go. Copy, check. <laughs> Cold for you. Cold in here. In this cup, which is fine. I was hoping for a straw to be able to easily drink with the mask, but it's, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It works. <laughs> walking around Kingston um, and we walk down the river I don't is is it the Hudson there is a river right here unclear if it is the Hudson River it might be but it might not be it's a branch of the Hudson it's a not the Hudson. the Hudson that's a creek that's a big creek this is the Hudson hang on this is the Hudson this is what we're looking at. Gotcha. That duck is noisy. <laughs> anyway, it's a cute area just to walk around, pop into shops. There's a bunch of restaurants. Um, and yeah, there was a couple of really cute shops. So I bought some things. She bought like a lot of things. I wish, I kind of wish I would have seen that hoodie first. Because I like the hoodie. It was like $80 though. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a lot for Odie. <laughs> All right, onward. <laughs> oh, Instagram. God post on the Instagram. Good news, we made it to Woodstock. Bad news, it's raining a little bit, but we're gonna pop into a few stores and check it out. back at the house changed into cozy clothes because it is just gross and rainy and it's just gonna keep raining until it turns to snow um because it's you know the end of april and apparently it snows in the cascals at the end of april so we're oh it's her woodstock shirt move your hair we're talking about this one cute um, so we made coffee, we have brownies we picked up at a uh, place yesterday that we are enjoying, and we're going to play Monopoly. Shelby and I volunteered mom to be the banker because neither of us wanted to do it. And we are only playing Monopoly because our dad isn't here 
Because we're eight, we refuse to play Monopoly. I will with him. never play Monopoly with that man ever again in my entire life. But they have a bunch of games over here that you know are just in the house we can use, and they have a New York City themed Monopoly. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. We're still playing Monopoly, but we have progressed to wine and cheese trays. In a turn of events nobody saw coming, I'm actually kicking butt in Monopoly, I think. I never win Monopoly. <laughs> okay, we press pause on Monopoly. I'm winning, by the way, but um, Shelby went upstairs to take a shower. I'm going to get started on dinner because it's like 7.30. I'm not super hungry because we had um some snacks but for dinner tonight we're gonna just make some impossible burgers and sweet potato fries so nice simple easy uh we are cooking most of our meals here um for a couple of reasons one obviously covid um there's not a ton of restaurants kind of like right around here but then also because of all of our various dietary restrictions, it's really hard to find um, restaurants that have like enough options that sound good. So that's why we just stocked up at the store and that's the beauty of uh, staying at Airbnb is we have a full kitchen and this one is super nice and very well stocked. So I'm going to get started on making dinner. Today is Friday and we got a little bit of snow overnight, but it didn't stick. Um, so it's still a little like cloudy, dreary, drizzly today. And I think in some areas there will be some brief snow showers throughout the day, but I think we really lucked out. So that's great. Today we are going to head down to Red Hook and ride back. Um, just kind of walk around, explore, very similar to what we did yesterday, packed a little lunch, um, so we'll find somewhere to have a little picnic, even if that's just the car in a grocery store parking lot, like we did yesterday. <laughs> but I'm excited. Um, none of us have been to these two towns, so I'm excited to go explore. We made it to Rhinebeck. I'm excited. This town looks so cute. It looks a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's different, very different from like Kingston. Yeah, definitely different vibes. Um, okay, but it's raining, so I need to get my umbrella. <laughs>
are back at the house now. We've actually been back for a while. Uh, we were actually shooting some sister market content. So it is now evening and we made a little wine and cheese tray we are going to enjoy before we do dinner. Um, let's see, we went to Rhinebeck today. That was really fun. That was a really cute town. Um, it was a lot bigger than I think any of us were expecting. We really liked it. Red Hook, we drove through. We actually decided not to get out and walk around. It was starting to rain again and um, it seemed like it was way more restaurants, which we had just eaten. We, um, I think I mentioned this morning, we had planned to picnic again. We made sandwiches and stuff, but then we came across that Indian restaurant and it was so good. Mom almost licked her bowl clean. She enjoyed her meal that much. It was very, very excellent. Very, very excellent. That is Debbie Dunn's review of cinnamon and Rhinebeck. Very, very excellent. So we ended up eating out. Um, so we'll save our sandwiches for maybe tomorrow because um, we had we head back to the city tomorrow. I'm sad. This house is, is so fun. Um, so yeah, so really we just did Rhinebeck today. We drove through Red Hook briefly and then headed back to the house. Just been getting some content done and can enjoy that now. Oh, we visited the Mercantile. Oh, I forgot. Yes, we did. I did film a little clip of that. Um, so that is actually literally down the street from the Airbnb we're staying at. It's a little, um, you call it a mercantile? Isn't it just like a... Oh, like a general store. General store. General. Yeah. So I, we knew that was there, but we assumed a general store in the literal middle of the Catskills um, wouldn't really have a lot of our dietary needs but they have gluten-free everything. They have vegan stuff. Um, they have like a whole espresso machine and alternative milks. And anyways, I was very impressed for like a little teeny tiny general store, just kind of in the middle of the Catskill Mountains. Uh, so if you happen to be around, that was a fun place to stop. They have like lots, lots and lots and lots of stuff in there. So that was fun. We stopped and got lattes, which were so good um, before we came back to the house. So yeah, all right. Yay! Hey! This is the first time I'm holding the camera. <laughs> what? Uh, we are cooking dinner. But the problem is, see, this is, I'm scared of this. Why? Because the stove, for some reason, only lets you put it on high. Like, it's like you light it, like the gas, and then high is the only option. Hi. <laughs> um, but we're cooking. We're cooking dinner. We're making some fans of pasta. Ashley's making Beyond Meatballs. We've got sauce to put on and the mom put together a little salad situation. So, we're cooking. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? We finished up dinner. I took a shower and got ready for bed, but I'm gonna, I'm back downstairs because I'm gonna read a little bit before going to bed. I found, there's like lots of books around this Airbnb and I found one I've been reading and I'm trying to finish it before we leave tomorrow. I'm very confused about something. Here, I just yeah. saw it because I saw it in, I was rewatching my daily TikTok video from today. Yes. Why is this stuff with only one F? What? Double stuff. S-T-U-F. Why is there not two Fs? Has there always just been I don't one? know. I don't. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. 
Wait, Google Did it. Did we find a glitch in the matrix? Is this another Mandela effect? Maybe. Google it. Is it supposed to be two ups? Double stuff. I mean, to be fair, I've always assumed it was two ups, but I never, like, confirmed. Does that make sense? Not the actual what? What does it say? It's just one? I mean, all these pictures, it's just one, but how has my brain never registered that? And also, that's stupid. Because we're stupid, apparently. No, that's not how you spell stuff. It's not how you spell stuff. But we made it this far in life without realizing that Oreo double stuff is just spelled with one F. It's stupid. What? It is stupid. All right, I'm gonna read. I'm assuming you're on TikTok? I'm currently on Google looking up jokes of Oreos. But uh, yeah, Alexandria has sent me 26 videos I need to watch. Hmm. I'm gonna try to finish this book. I'm not that far. I don't think I'm gonna finish it. No way. It's already 9.40. <laughs> I know, but it lives here. Quickly. But it, it We're supposed to be leaving at the time we usually wake up. Mom's already secretly vetoed that. She asked me, are we really leaving that early? She's the one who wanted to do stuff in the city tomorrow. Just saying. Do you want to eat them together or eat it separately? I like them both. Mm -hmm. Some, I like the first one together, weirdly. And then after that, I like them separately. Yeah, I do it opposite. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. And that really tracks for us. Because <laughs> <laughs> same effect. Same effect, just different order. Good morning. Woke up early. I did finish the book. Thank goodness. It was really good. Um, I can't remember if I showed it last night. When I go back downstairs, I'll show you. Sorry, there's something in my eye. Um, but it was really good. So um, I am trying to quickly finish my second cup of coffee as we rush to get ready and get out the door. Because we are headed back to the city this morning. Um, I just kind of throw in on comfy clothes. I'm gonna throw a hat on. Um, the only thing on my face right now is this glow screen, which I love. I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows and mascara, just going very minimalist over here. But I did want to mention while I do this, um, this is the brand Merit, both of these, the brow um, product and the mascara. And I really, really love both of them. So if you're looking for new products in those arenas, um, I got them at Sephora, and I really like them, just FYI. So we're headed back to the city today. Um, Mom goes back to Texas tomorrow, so we're just going to play in the city this afternoon when we get back. Um, maybe go to the park, grab coffee. We're going to grab dinner tonight, but um, uh, nothing, too, nothing too crazy. Um, this was a lovely little getaway, though. I'm very happy that we were able to escape the city for a couple days and come and do this. We hope you guys loved tagging along. This is the book I read, by the way. It was good. All right, cars is all ridiculous. <laughs> we keep accidentally matching. Yeah. But I will just say, I was packed first and I showed you what I was packing. But I didn't know you were wearing this today. I believe I explained what days I was wearing what, but it's fine. Anyway, the car is all packed up. We're about to head back to the city. We're gonna miss this little house. Oh, it was super cute. It was, it was great. It was a really fun trip, good oh, location. We'll link the Airbnb listing in the description box mm -hmm. below. So if you are in there and you wanna stay here, highly recommend, had no issues. And we kind of got to experience three different seasons. Truly? Yeah. Because it was sunny and 70 on our first day, then it was like in the 50s and rainy, and now um, it's a lot colder outside than it looks like based on how we're dressed. It's like probably 30 something degrees. Is it? I think it's pretty cold. 
It also felt like fall yesterday because we were driving through the mountains listening to Mumford and Sons. It was kind of like rainy. Our, like, fall thing. I know. It was kind of weird. Yeah. It snowed overnight. It didn't stick, but. It snowed again last night? Uh huh. Oh. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. All right. Well, thanks for coming along on our upstate adventure. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.